Hello. Today we're going to be doing a review of the new Vax Air 3 Max bagless cyclonic upright vacuum cleaner. This is the largest capacity of all the air cleaners. It holds a full three litres of dirt before you need to empty it, so it's a good, good large container. It also has 320 air watts, so it's very powerful suction wise, and has an extra long 10 meter cable so you should be able to clean a lot of space without having to change sockets all the time and the hose will reach right up a standard flight of stairs because it will stretch to over 3 meters. To top it all Vax give you an amazing 6 year guarantee with this which is better than Dyson, better than many many, well I don't know of any other um, domestic appliance brand that offers a six year guarantee on a vacuum cleaner. So if it goes wrong within six years, any parts that are covered by the guarantee, which are non-wear parts, then they should be sorted for you if anything should go wrong. So here's the machine. We'll be doing full performance and convenience tests on this during this video. It's, um, like I say, it's lightweight, but it has a full capacity and a very long reach. It has two motors, one motor provides the power for the brush roll and the other motor provides the suction which means they're independently controllable so you've got two switches on the top here so when you're cleaning hard floors you can turn the brush bar off for optimum cleaning of hard floors. Also when the machine is in the upright position when you're using the hose for example the brushes automatically switch off, so that's a little safety feature. The brushes aren't constantly brushing the same bit of carpet. For, for example, if you're cleaning the stairs, the brushes will remain stationary. It's multi-cyclonic, which should mean that you shouldn't have to clean the filters quite so often as some other bagless cleaners. If you want a bagless clean, it's always best, if you can afford it, go for one that's got multi-cyclones. They tend to require less maintenance of the filters. There are two filters that require occasional cleaning on this model. There's the post motor filter, which is located under this grill, under the dust bag. And the other filter is located here at the top of the cyclone unit. All easy to get hold of. You just, with the top filter here, you just rotate the top to the unlocked position remove the filter, wash it, make sure it's dry and place it back and with the post motor filter you just twist this grill, lift the filter out, rinse it, dry it and put it back in the machine. That should be all the maintenance that this fax requires. You might need to clean hair if you've got uh, long haired dogs or there's uh, people with long hair in your house. You might have to clean hairs off the brush from time to time it's always a good idea to make sure that you keep that clear and occasionally you might get a blockage but all that's explained in the instruction book um, how to rectify that should that occur. So everything you need is on board like I say you've got this very long stretchy hose that does extend to over three meters. You've also got on the back here this small tool which you can use on your stairs your curtains and upholstery. It's got this lint picker all the way round so that should collect lint and, and pet hairs and things before it's sucked into the machine. And on the side of the cleaner we've got the dual purpose two-in-one crevice tool and dusting tool. You just press that and the dusting tool pops out. It's quite nice soft brushes that's good for dusting your surfaces, your blinds, uh, tops of your skirting boards, that's ideal for that. You can attach both of these tools either directly to the hose end, which is down here. All you do to use the hose, you just remove it like this, you don't have to switch any buttons or anything. As soon as you've taken the hose off, the suction is available to you through the hose. And like I say, you can either attach the tools directly to the hose which is good for confined spaces if you're cleaning out your car or you can use the wand which also forms the handle of the cleaner you just press down here and the whole wand comes out so you've got a telescopic wand similar to 
the one you'd get on a suction cleaner so you can adjust the height of that and so you can use it to go higher if you want to do cobwebs, uh, ceiling fans etc and all you do is you connect the the hose end into here if I can just do that with one hand it's a bit tricky there we go Oops, it's fallen off because I haven't put it on right. I will show you all this in detail properly when I can actually, that's it. There we are. So now we've got the, the hose on the end of the handle. So now you can use, use the machine for cleaning all over your home. When you're finished with the tools, you just remove the hose off the handle pop it back onto the cleaning head there and then if you've used the wand you just pop that back in the machine push it until it clicks and then you're ready to use it as an upright the adjustable handle also has the benefit of adjusting right down so it makes the machine not quite so tall, so that's good if you've got um, a cupboard under the stairs that's a bit low. If you want to put it where the stairs slant down, you can collapse the handle um, to make it easier to store, or in fact remove the handle altogether and just put it next to the machine and then it's even shorter then. This also benefits from being adjustable to suit the height, whatever height you are, whichever height you find most comfortable, you can adjust the handle up and down. Like I said, it's got an extra long 10 meter cord, which should be standard really, even for some smaller homes, a 10 meter cord just saves you having to unplug. It's nothing more aggravating. Even in a small house, when you have to plug the machine in every room you clean, you have to unplug it and plug it back in. With this machine, with a lot of houses, you can plug it into one point and you can certainly do your whole ground floor. Sometimes even the second floor, if you plug it into the, the hallway, in my house I can do my ground floor and most of the second floor without having to unplug. To access all this flex there's this hook here, all you do is turn it round and then all the flex releases ready for use. Now the energy consumption isn't too bad, it's not, not as bad as some, it's 1600 watt so it's not an energy guzzler like some of these machines that are you know, well over 2000 watts. But it still performs. I find that this model, I've had um, another air machine, one of the first air machines without the swivel neck, which I will show you in action. I had the air pet version, no it wasn't, it was an air reach, which benefited from the extra long hose and the extra long cable, which I do think is a must. But the brushes, on the air reach seem to be softer. This certainly does bring up my carpet better than the earlier model. It, the brushes on it are much stiffer. Also the suction being 320 air watts which is a good power for a, an upright cleaner. If you compare the air wattage to say some of the Dyson cleaners you can get it does exceed the suction of many, probably most Dysons but you'd have to do your research if that's important to you, the suction power. But the suction power isn't the be all, not be all and end all, you also need good agitation. But this does have a good and effective brush roll. It does bring the pile up. But like I say, the proof of the, in the pudding is in the eating and we will be showing this in action. I'll be showing you on hard floors and carpets and then we'll be seeing how it performs with the cleaning tools and I'll be giving you my opinion on its noise and how effective it is and how convenient it is to use. You've got a carry handle as well at the top. Like I say, it's not the lightest machine I've picked up, but it's certainly not the heaviest. So you can use the carry handle here to carry the whole cleaner. Also the carry handle is used to carry the bin to the dustbin to empty it. You just press this button here and then you take your container to the bin, best to empty it before it reaches the max fill line and then when you get to your bin you just press that little lever and then the whole bottom of the bin just drops down and allows you to shake all the muck 
into your bin. That just goes on there like that and clicks securely into place. Right, we'll go over now into the kitchen where I've had a bit of a party, made a bit of a mess, and we'll see how the Vax Air 3 Max performs on hard floors. Well, we've got a right mess here for the Vax to deal with. I've thrown down quite a lot of different sized particles to see how the Vax copes with it. So on this hard floor, I've thrown down things that would probably be spilt on a kitchen floor, obviously not in this quantity, but down here we've got sugar, flour, couscous, rice and some bran flakes. Now that represents a lot of different sized particles, obviously the finest being the flour, and then we've got the sugar, the couscous, the rice, and then the largest particles being the bran flakes. I don't really know how it's going to cope, to be honest with this, because when I've used it, there's never been this sort of mess and it's always done a good job but I've never tested it to this extreme before so if it does this job effectively then it should really do any cleaning that you need it to do in your kitchen so what I'm going to do is pass the Vax Air 3 Max backwards and forwards once through the middle just so we can have a direct comparison with the area I've cleaned and the area that's still got all this muck on it. I've already turned off the brush motor so when I switch the machine on we'll just have the suction motor. It has a soft start system so when I initially turn it on it'll sound a bit slower and then it will suddenly speed up. This is just a little safety feature. It protects the motor anyway from wear. Well that's the theory anyway. To lower the machine, all you do is put your foot, either foot, depending if you're left or right-handed, on either side of the cleaning head, and you lower the handle. So it's got a swivel action, which I shouldn't really swivel before I've switched it on, so I don't want to scratch my floor. So, let's just see if this is going to work. Now to be honest, that has worked far better than I expected. I did not expect it to be quite so good because in the past upright cleaners didn't tend to be very good on hard surfaces. You'd have to really use a cylinder cleaner with a hard floor nozzle. But most upright vacuums today, especially ones with a brush bar you can switch off, tend to perform okay on hard floors. But as you can see, from that lovely clean path, there's a little stray bran flake that's just managed to escape the suction on this occasion. It won't on the next time, I can assure you. But for hard floors, pretty good. And unlike some models, I have a Dyson that it's it just sticks to the floor and it's very hard to push. This was easy to push over the floor and it did a fantastic job. So let's clean up the rest of this mess and then we'll go over into the living room and see what mess I've left on the carpet. been a dirty boy then. This 
is a mess. In this mess we have dog hair, dust, um, general bits of paper, uh, some threads, there'll be some uh, used up contact lenses in there as well. I've also emptied the mess I picked up off the kitchen floor which included the couscous, sugar, flour, rice and bran flakes so that's in the middle. So can this Vax Air 3 Max pick all this up without protesting? I was surprised how well it did on the hard floor so now Without any further ado, we're going to see how it does on this carpet. So again, one forward and one backward pass right through the middle of this. And then after we've done that, we'll have a look and see if it's managed to pick up everything that I've put down. We'll make sure this time that the brush is on and then we'll switch the machine on here. Now that's not going to get 5 out of 5 because as you can see there are quite a few lines in its le that it's left but this is an extreme example. I'll give it 4 out of 5. I have had some vacuum cleaners cope with this in one pass, well two passes but it, they've not left anything. So you know there is a little bit left. The majority has been picked up but when in the normal course of your vacuuming you will be overlapping the strokes and you should be able to get that up. But like I say, you're not normally going to have to deal with this. This is just an extreme example, just to show you that it has, it's not coped badly. And I do know that when I've, by the time I've finished recording this, everything will be picked up without very much effort. Well, I'm hoping so anyway. Otherwise I've got some explaining to do. But anyway, let's pick the rest of this dirt up and then we'll get on to demonstrating the Vax Air 3 using the cleaning tools. Well there you go, I told you, didn't take long and it's picked up every last scrap of dirt. I had to go over a couple of bits more than once but it was an extreme example. The pile has been restored and I cannot see 
any dirt left on the carpet. In fact, the only place we should see the dirt is inside here. Shall I? Shall I dare press this button? I think I dare, and I'm going to. So, this is where all the dirt from the carpet ended up. Give it a bit of a shake. Doesn't look quite so much when you see it in one, one pile, does it? But that is the muck that the vax. I mean, look at all this fine, horrible, gritty dust that's in there. So, four out of five for carpet cleaning performance. Though I expect that in normal circumstances, in a normal house that hasn't got this much muck put on a carpet, I don't think you'd be disappointed in the performance of this machine. Right, I'll pop the bin back now because I don't want to leave all this on the floor. I'll just pick all this up using the onboard tools. So we'll just remove the hose from the machine or we'll unhook it, not remove it because we still want the hose on. That's it. Let's move the cable up clip the cable up out the way on the little hook there. This is where the cable exits from the machine, so it's quite low down. Unlike some cleaners, that the hose is quite near the top, which would cause it to topple should you pull on it. With this vax, you can actually pull without it toppling over. Right, let's clean up all this mess, or at least the bulk of it. See, back where it belongs, and I'll just finish off, because I don't like to leave a job half done, I'll just finish off using the upright mode, just to get this last bit. See if I can do it kneeling down. It'll be a bit tricky, but we'll give it a go. While I'm down here, I'll just show you a little feature of the brush roll. It has a safety cutout. So when you're normally using the machine, you have that green light. If for any reason you get the brush roll jammed, if you suck up a sock or a carpet fringe, or if you're cleaning under a bed and there's something under there you haven't seen, some dusty old underpants or something, if they get sucked into the brush and it stops the brush roll turning, the brush roll motor will switch off automatically. This will save the belt from being damaged. In theory, it's a lifetime belt, so it shouldn't need replacing while you have the machine because the brush roll will stop automatically. And when it does, if it does, you have a reset button, which is here, this little red button here, you don't have to wait for it to cool down or anything. You just press the reset button, obviously turn the machine off, press the reset button and turn the machine back on and then you should find the brush roll will be back to normal. Instead of using a ball like Dyson cleaners, it has a swivel joint 
here. This enables you to swivel the machine from side to side. Obviously you go up, you can go up and down, but you can also swivel by twisting your wrist. So in theory, it's, it makes it easier to manoeuvre around furniture, but I found until you get used to this way of cleaning, you'll still find you're just pushing the machine back and forward in a straight line. Until you start actually doing the action, the twisty motion, you'll probably just keep doing that. And then you might suddenly realise, oh, hang on, look, I can do that. I can get around my coffee table just by going like that, you see. So there we have it. That's the Vax Air 3 Max on carpets. We've shown you some of the suction, gave you a rough idea of the suction with the cleaning tools. So I'll just show you the tools again. So the hose just unplugs. And then again, we'll just pop the, the flex out the way on the little hook. So now we've got the very powerful suction coming through the hose. So it's going to start moving. There we go. It's not going to, it might topple if you're vigorous, but I'm being quite vigorous. You wouldn't be that vigorous when you're vacuuming. But the machine, it is wobbling, but it hasn't fallen over. So, for example, we can use it on upholstery. So I'm just going to clip this to the doodah. There we go. And then you can use your machine with, you know, with the hose directly on your upholstery, avoiding your remote control. Or, then if I can take it off, as I say, it's all very difficult when you're trying to demonstrate one with one hand, holding a camera and then also trying to demonstrate the vacuum. It, it always seems trickier than it is in reality when you're not trying to show folk what you're doing. So that's, I've got the crevice tool attached now. So again, we can use this as a dusting tool. In fact, I'll show you this because I know it's naughty. It's, we've had the windows open. It's been unseasonably nice weather. And fortunately, quite a few flies have come to die on my windowsill. So we'll give them a decent burial inside the vax. There you go for all your above floor cleaning. That's a, a good little dusting brush. Also though, if you need to get higher, if you want to clean your pelmets or your curtain rail, you can just release the handle here and we'll take the nozzle off. That's on the tube. I'm gonna have to pop this down for a moment. It is a bit tricky, as I say, single-handedly. It's very easy when you're doing it with one hand. I'll just connect now the hose to the end of the handle. That's it, that's on. 
and then I need to connect this multi-tool onto the end of the hose. I hope you saw that alright, I couldn't see what I was doing there. I'll be able to see what I'm doing in a minute. So now we've got the multi-tool on the end of the wand. So now we can use it for cleaning up high. So we can go up here, we can dust top of our curtain rail, top of door frames, a lot of people forget about that, top of door frames. And all over, and also you can go down low, low as well. Now I've got the Vax Air 3 Max positioned at the bottom of a standard flight of stairs. And this tends to be another thing that most people want to know, will it reach? Because most of us have uh, one flight of stairs to clean, some people have two or even three. A lot of houses being built now to make more use of the space, they can have an extra story. My house, for example, I've got two flights of stairs to clean. So stair cleaning is quite an important factor in choosing a vacuum cleaner for some people. To be a true stair cleaning machine, in my eyes, you need to be able to leave the machine at the bottom of the stairs and be able to reach right to the top without having to move the machine. And I also think the best cleaners with a stair cleaning hose are ones that you can reach the top step without having to have the extension tube because that can make it a little bit awkward to use having the tube. But with the tube on, I'll just show you, for example, the side of stairs, you often get quite a lot of dust built up, you can just run a duster over that, but I like to use my vacuum for these areas. So, with the extension wand attached and the dusting tool, we can, I think, quite easily get right to the top either side and the machine is still safely at the bottom. I can't go much further onto the half landing so in that case I would have to move the machine up onto the landing to do to dust down this area. Now, now I've got the machine in this position I can see now that it's about two stairs short of being able to reach without the handle attached. If I collapse the handle a little bit, because that's far too long, let me just put that lower down. And I'll just pull the handle down. So if I collapse the handle, I'm holding it. It's still, it's reaching okay. And I can actually do, would it be able to clean more or less the top step? It is a bit of a stretch to go that far. But I can do, let's see, that's how many steps is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's eleven steps it will do comfortably. You are struggling slightly when you get beyond that. The machine is light enough for most people to actually carry while you're doing the stairs. Or you can actually balance it, you can balance it on the stair, you have to still have to hold it but you can, the most of the weight can be taken by the stair or you can put your, put your knee in front. Like I say I'm holding a camera so this is a bit awkward but without, when you've got two hands free it is possible just to hold the machine, stop it from toppling and then use your other free hand just to do the final stair. So, although it is a long stretch hose, it could do with being a little bit longer. So that completes my review of the Air 3 Max from Vax. Currently, at the time of making this recording, in July 2013, this is available direct from Vax on their website for $279.99. And that comes with a free handheld vacuum cleaner worth 49 dollars 
also has a six year guarantee. Now 279.99 does bring it more into line with the sort of price you'd pay for some Dysons. In fact, you can get some Dysons cheaper. But Vax often have offers on their machines, so you might be able to, to shave off a hundred pounds or more depending the time you buy it, who you buy it from. If you can get this for less than $279.99, at least £100 less, then it's worth considering, especially for the six-year guarantee. It's a little bit noisy, but most vacuum cleaners in this sort of range are noisy. Dyson's, which cost a lot more at full price, are noisy. Um, a lot of hoovers are noisy. If you want quieter vacuum cleaners, it tends to be the German manufacturers. In my experience, Sebo and Miele do produce quieter machines, but they do not produce, currently, bagless machines. So if you definitely want a bagless cleaner, my recommendations are obviously go for a multi-cyclonic vacuum, whether you go for the originator of multi-cyclonic Dyson or you go for any of the other makes that have managed to produce similar multi-cyclonic machines but at much lower cost. This Vax is a good compromise if you don't want to fork out for a Dyson but you still want a good guarantee and the Vax beats Dyson by a year, six year parts and labour warranty on this machine. It's considerably cheaper. It does have more suction power than a Dyson. So it's one that's worth considering from a company that's been around for quite some years now. It's a UK company. The machines aren't manufactured in the UK. They are manufactured in China now, as you'll find the vast majority of things tend to come from China. This is the sign of the times. But if that stand by their warranty, which I see no reason why they wouldn't, it's a good good machine to consider, especially if you've got a larger home and you need the extra long cable, the extra long hose and the decent carpet cleaning and floor cleaning ability. I hope you found the review useful. Stay tuned for more reviews. If you want to see more floor care reviews of mine, subscribe and you'll be notified as soon as I upload any new videos. Thanks for watching and goodbye.